Well, welcome to my Cuisina Coffee Grinder review. This is the Cuisina Supreme Grind Automatic Burr Mill. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing it, showing you what you get for your money, and then we're going to be testing it out. It holds up to eight ounces of beans. Why do I need this? Well, under the pandemic, we have been getting through so much coffee, it is untrue. This is my Bowdoin Coffee Grinder, which has proved good up until a point. But in order to fill this jar with enough coffee to store in the fridge, I have to use this about eight or nine times, which is just ridiculous. Hence, when I was in Costco the other day, I picked up the new Cuisine Art machine. Now, what is there to like about this? It holds eight ounces of beans. It's fully automatic. So when it's finished grinding the beans, it shuts off. And it's got 18 different grind settings from fine to coarse. Anyway, let me get it out of the box, see what we've got for our 35 bucks, and then test it out on some coffee. I've got one rather large Starbucks bag here of Winter Blend, and I would just point out it also comes with a limited 18 month warranty. And in relation to that warranty, there's even a card for you to register inside the box. Little instruction manual, more on that in a second. But I think we'll move straight to the quick start guide. Well, it's very well packaged, so much so it really didn't want to come out of the box. Whilst it comes with an operating manual, what you really want to do is use the quick start guide. Now, taking a quick look around the machine itself, Power cable is about, about two foot long, so it's not huge, but then you don't have the issue of hiding four foot of cable away on the side on here. Now, I thought it had 18 different grind settings on here. This is the for the number of cups on here. So you can set it for four cups, eight cups, 12 cups, 18 cups, and anything in between on there. So that is purely the power setting for the number of cups. You alter the grind from ultra fine, fine, through to medium, through to course by turning this dial on the top on there. I am going to leave it down on about fine, but if you put it on super fine here, I think that's going to be ideal for doing your espresso. And it holds half a pound of beans, fully automatic with auto shut off, so let's test that right now. First of all, let me remove those labels. Top pulls off for easy access to put your beans in, that lid locks down nice and securely. And when our coffee's ground, it's going to come out on this on the front, which should enable me to pour that fairly easily into the jar. And it does come with a little spoon if you want to scoop it in the jar and a brush for cleaning the inside with. And if like me to start with, you're wondering, well, how many cups should I set this for? I'm going to set it to 12. That is because my coffee pot here holds 12 cups. Okay, time to put it right up with beans. So it will hold half a pound. I'm not going to go overboard in there for the minute. Time to power it up. Now, it says it's fully automatic. They make this idiot proof. I'm looking around all around as to how to turn the darn thing on. I've got it set on 12 cups. There's no switches on the back, but there is this button mark start here. And after around about 35 to 40 seconds, the Cuisine Art coffee grinder has done my 12 cups worth of coffee. And to take it out to start with, it's slightly baffling because it actually feeds the coffee in through this hole in the back, not through the top. Anyway, taking the lid off to open it up, that is pretty good ground. That is pretty much what I was after in terms of how fine I want it. Anyway, some can go straight in the pot. That's it. And let's set that going. And the rest can go in my jar. Now, whilst I will say this is easier to get the coffee out of this than my Bodum coffee grinder was, it's still a lot more efficient in terms of not spilling coffee on the side if you use a spoon. That would be my tip for the day. Anyway, that's it tested on fine. Let me test it for the couple of cups on course. So let's just move it right down to four on that. Once again, start. Oh man. Okay, well whatever you do when you are grinding, you must make sure you put this lid back on every time. Otherwise there's a gap around here and when the grinder's used, a lot of the coffee simply fires out over here. So do as I say, not as I do. Learn from my mistakes. Whenever you're using this, you need to ensure this cover is back on the machine. Anyway, that is my coarse grind. It's still quite fine. It's not super coarse. Anyway, that is the Cuisine Art Coffee Grinder set on its coarsest setting in there. So that's about as good as it gets from a coarse point of view, but I do like mine a little finer in general. Well, I have to say from the outset, 
a Cuisinart coffee maker. It's a decent weight on there. That's not going to move around on the side while it's grinding and vibrate to one side or the other. Love the fact you can just hit the start button and leave it to do its thing. You've not got to watch over it at all. It's highly adjustable. The course setting is maybe not as coarse as some people would like, but it's adequate for my needs. And certainly that fine to medium grinding position on there is superb for my day-to-day -day coffee. I like the fact you can turn it right down and go super fine for grinding espresso beans on there. Now, when it comes to cleaning the Cuisine Art Coffee Maker, everything is dishwasher safe. So this is dishwasher safe, this is dishwasher safe. When you finish with this, you can simply turn this anti-clockwise to unscrew it, and it then lifts up, and you can put that whole unit in the dishwasher. And you can tell when it's back on, when it begins to click again, that's when you know it is on perfectly fine. On that, there is also a little outlet on the hopper here, which they recommend wiping around to keep clean. I can already see some coffee building up on there. I just use a damp cloth for cleaning the base on there. Anyway, I'm pleased with my Cuisine Art coffee grinder. I think I've made the right choice. I love the fact that you can set the number of cups on there and the grind is very easy indeed to adjust from coarse through to medium or even to ultra fine for espresso. So does this get my real life thumbs up? Well, on initial impressions, yes, it does. Anyway, I hope you found that short review of the Cuisine Art coffee grinder useful. If you did, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.